Hey guys, welcome back for another reaction. All right, so this time, guys, we are going to be reacting on Tiana J. Yes, Tiana J. Um, I think she lives in Connecticut. She has, her channel has really grown in the last couple of years. And she released a video that I wanted to react on. It is titled, In My Dating Era, Grown Woman for a Second Date Plus Chit Chat. So we're going to take a look at this. Please go ahead and hit that thumbs up on your way in, guys, and let's get right into it. All right, here we go. Um, if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on all your post notifications so you don't miss any time I upload. So yeah, I just got out the shower. I told y'all in the previous video that we would talk about what's happening today, okay? So today I'm actually going on my second date. Yes, yeah, second date. Um, I went on a date with this guy. <laughs> I'm not going to say any names. Um, about two weeks ago. It was super cute. Super, super cute. Super, super cute. Um, he planned everything, I'm guessing, in that same day, and I loved it. And it was just kind of like spontaneous. We were supposed to then do something like a while ago, like last year sometime, and it never happened. He kind of flaked on me the first time, and... Um, we just never got around to actually going out with one another. So, like, two weeks ago, I was laying across my bed. So, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, if you're not aware of Tiana J, she's a YouTuber here. She has a TikTok as well, and I follow her on Instagram, all right? Her channel name is Tiana J and Elijah King, and she has 75K subscribers, so... I don't think she's been on here as nearly as long as Jazz. She has one son. So she's a single mom of one. And she's a good mom as far as I can see. I think she does a good job. Um, she, her son is always neat, clean, well-behaved. Um, you know, she's not perfect, but she's in her 20s. I'm going to say, I think about 27 or 28. I'm not really sure, guys. She might be younger than that. But yeah, she has 75K subscribers. So she's past my Jazzy life. And her content is way better than my jazzy life. Okay, I must say that. All right, so let's go. I just wanted to give you guys a little, you know, just a little bit of information on Tiana. And I was just finishing up some work and I was going to actually lay there and take a nap. And when I went to about to go put my phone down, I get a text from him. I'm like, hmm, what do you want? So I answered it and they said, hey, are you busy? You want to go out for some lunch? And I was like, Sure, why not? You know, I'm not doing anything. I'm about to literally sit here and take a nap. So, and that I bumped my head because not in many years would I would have done something like that. And normally take a guy who like tries to like get me out the house with them or whatever. So I said yes and we went out and it was a great time. Went to a restaurant. Some of you guys may have seen my story two weeks ago. Um the little restaurant that we have went to. It was super cute, very aesthetic, very pleasing and loved it. And we talked on the car ride. He opened and closed my door, he fell into my seat, he paid for everything. Like it was just super nice to actually like feel wanted and appreciated if that makes sense because he told me before he had actually reached out right so i'm gonna tell y'all one thing i got what a problem with what she just said she's acting like that she goes on dates and men don't pay for stuff so i've never i don't do that so i don't know you know how all of y'all get down but it's no way in hell that I'm going on a date and paying for a man. Okay, let's let's clear that straight on up. Unless we're already in a relationship, that is when I will offer to pay for a date and it's not gonna be a lot of them either. I still operate old school when it comes to this. You're paying for everything. You're the man and you are the provider. That is non-negotiable with me. I don't know how y'all roll, but she's acted as though it was shocking that he opened the door. Yes. Now, opening the car door is not mandatory, but it is. I feel like it's nice. It's fine. I'm fine with that. Opening the, the door where we're entering. Yes, I think that's mandatory. You don't have to pull out my chair, but if you do, that's nice, too. So car door opening is not mandatory, but it's nice. Pulling out my chair is not mandatory, but it's nice. And I feel like you should extend certain courtesies as a man. But half of y'all niggas can't even change the tie. So let's just keep it going. Let's keep it going, y'all. Because you know how it is. I don't know about this new dating. Okay? 
to me that he thought of me and he was like hey let me see what t doing and that's kind of like how it happened or whatever but yes you guys i'm in my day and era or whatnot and i love this for me like i love this new journey that i'm on right now so i just i'm just excited about today today we're actually going to the movies but right now we want to do some um some skincare do my hair and get ready with me so i already got my outfit out whatnot i just need to wash my face exfoliate a little bit brush my teeth you know all that good smell good personal hygiene stuff take care of myself so i'm looking good and smelling good so when he see me and he smell me he like mm, you look good enough to be eating up you know what i'm saying but we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't gonna go there we ain't gonna go there we ain't gonna go there we're gonna behave ourselves okay y'all so yeah let's actually start with the skincare he actually said he is on his way i, I kind of like told him to stall this up a little bit because y'all know girls ain't never ready on time and I, I really hate that for myself i hate that for myself but we're gonna try to get it done within a reasonable amount of time and i'm talking super fast and super quick because i ain't got a lot of time but i'll get more into it maybe later on to this video or whatever because he's not the only one that i've been dating i've been dating other people as well and we'll talk about that a little bit more because i know like y'all as women want to know and stuff like that and like how i started or whatever because there was a point in time that i was like real self-conscious about myself and i didn't think that could be a thing for me because of the trauma i experienced with my ex you know what i'm saying so we gotta get into it we gotta get into it but let's let's watch this face so i'm using some of the sarah v high so for any of you guys who don't know about tiana i think she's referring to her baby daddy her son elijah's father was trifling. He supported her. And then when all of a sudden, when Elijah came to this earth, he was out, okay? They they started breaking up. They started getting into it. He was not providing at all. And then one time, I'm going to say about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, Tiana came on here and was like, yeah, Elijah's dad is doing good. He's doing good. I wouldn't mind having a second baby. I'm like, did you forget all the torment that he put you through? Girl, bye. Like, I don't understand. This is just me, y'all. I don't understand women going into a pregnancy knowing that you're going to be alone. I get if you think the guy's going to be there, but to know I'm going to be alone, mm, I don't know if I could do it, y'all. And I'm not criticizing anyone. I'm just talking about my personal preference. I wouldn't want to be a single. I would not make a choice to be a single mother, even though any of us can end up a single mother, but I'm not going into it knowing I'm going to be a single mother. I wouldn't do it, y'all. Okay, that's just my personal opinion, you know. So let's keep going. Like, hello, baby. Mm-hmm. Make sure y'all moisturize and explode, baby. Yes, ma'am. All right, y'all. So I'm about to show y'all what I'm wearing today. And we decided with, this is a bodysuit. So, but it's like a bodysuit biker shorts type of feel. And I'm gonna pair it with this shirt, this Notorious B.I.G. shirt. And we also decided on these new balances. Well, actually we didn't, cause I asked TikTok, what shoe should we wear? Everybody was like, wear these, wear these. I actually think those new balances are really cute. I'm going to go online and search for them now. They're really girly instead of just the gray ones because, you know, I kind of get bored with the gray ones. I like the cream ones or the off-white ones. I think they're cute. But these purple new balance are really cute to me, guys. The Vapor Max. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to ask my date. And so I sent him the picture and he was like, do these. So we got new those. And then we decided on this bag. I got this from Amazon, y'all. Amazon, like twenty, thirty dollars. Yeah, it's like a fake um Gucci dupe. And then we're gonna go with some YSL perfume. It smells so good. So let's get ready. All right, I got. So it's like a bodysuit. Y'all see? It's like a bodysuit. And so now I have to put this over my head, like this, like that, and like this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to go out like this thing, so that's why I'm putting on the shirt. It's all rolling up. All right, that's good. And it kind of like supporting him so good. Y'all. All right. Now we need some yoga. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to cry. Oh my God. 
chai. Don't die now, Tiana. Come on. All right, you gonna do this shirt. Mm. All right, I'm gonna invite him in. He's already here. I don't want him sitting out in that car being hot. Now, I do think it's kind of rude that y'all only on your second date and you're not even halfway done. And you got him sitting out in the car waiting for you. Come on, girl. You could have a little more cool about yourself. You could have started getting ready a lot earlier or told him to come an hour past the time so that you can have time to get yourself fixed up because that got to be annoying as a man. You know what I'm saying? I know I take a little bit long to get ready too, especially probably if I was going on a date, um, like with a new person or whatever. But yeah. I, I don't think that's right to have him waiting that long. I feel like my, my boobs messing up. So I'm going to tie the back. Should I? Should I tie it? And tuck it? I don't know. Let me finish getting dressed and I see how I feel about it. Okay. Socks. Ooh. We got to put some, some body oil on. Cause I don't want my legs being ashy. I just got the shower. I shouldn't get ashy, but who? Oh. I'm gonna put some more. I'm gonna put some more, baby. Shout out my breath. Yo, I know I look kind of rough right now, but just hit me out. Hit me out. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's all come together. All right, y'all. about to do this here. This shirt is super big. Should I tie it? I think I'm going to tie it. I'm going to tie it. The hair is going to bring everything together. I know I look kind of, it, it's not giving right now, but I'm telling y'all, once I do my hair, it's gonna look way it's gonna look way better. The look gonna come together. I promise. How does shirt look now? That's better? Okay, that's better. All right, so we're gonna do this here. We got a handy dandy spray bottle. Wet this up a bit. I'm gonna do a high slick bun. Come on. Don't don't fail me now. My hair is super dry. All right, so while she's doing all this, I just want to say to those of you just coming into the building, welcome. Please hit the thumbs up on your way. And guys, we are reacting to Tiana J. Um, she put out a dating video, I mean, a, a vlog about going on a date. So I just want to see how that's going. So far, I don't think she looks bad. Her hair looks rough, but she's fixing it now. Um, and I do think the outfit is the outfit is okay. I don't think anything's wrong with it. It matches the tennis, match the t-shirt. And... Um, I forgot where she said they were going. I don't think it's like a dress up date. So yes, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Tiana J, she has 75K. She's been on a YouTube for a couple years. She has a TikTok and she has an IG. I don't think it's all the same name though. Cause I remember her TikTok had got deleted and she was up to a lot of subscribers. I think she might've been up to like two, 200K, something like that. Cause she came on YouTube and complained about it. And she also came on YouTube to cuss out her mom. I did a video on that a couple months ago, probably like two or three months ago, alive on that um, with her and like Jazzy and Liv and a couple of the other uh, single moms here on YouTube. So yeah, um, I don't react on her often, but yeah, she's in what, her mid to late 20s and she lives in Connecticut. So yeah, Tiana J is who we're reacting on today. Oh, no Oh, she's acting ghetto, y'all. Can you see? You got a message? You got this one. I'm a dick. You sweating here? 
Yo, she's yelling at him outside the window. She's acting ghetto. So, y'all, I'm sorry. That was a little ghetto. I would have just called them on the phone, like, hey, I'm still upstairs fixing my hair. You want to go ahead and come up? They're yelling out the window. Okay. 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 You gotta use the bathroom. It's kind of a mess in there on the counter, but you can use the bathroom. All right. I just gotta fix my, finish my hair and put my stuff in my bag. What time is it? Four forty. Okay, we gotta hurry up. I, well, I gotta hurry up. Okay. Dang, where did I leave off? Okay, it's in my hair. Okay. I'm gonna put on some YSL. Yeah, it was my fault that. Oh, wait. Okay, let's do these edges. Take some of them out. Put some stuff on it. I need more. I need more. I need more. I need more gel. I need more gel. Hopefully it come out the way I need to. The brush is weak. This this brush is weak. Oh no, see. Why well, can't I get this right? Okay, so she fixed the ponytail up half this Now it. me personally, if I knew I was going out on a date, I have to have my hair done. That's that's not negotiable. I have to have my hair done. But at least she laid her edges and I don't think she looks bad. I would probably have done my eyebrows, put on a little bit of concealer, you know what I'm saying? Put on a little bit of blush. Um, I feel like she might need a lash or two, but, you know, that's just me, y'all. Let's keep it going. Oh, is it good? What's this glasses going to get, baby? All right, now we're going to put on some perfume. Why Oh, oh my goodness. god, girl. Then she got Mr. Nail too. Come on now, girl. Now, the only thing I can say now, Tiana J, she do keep a job. That's one thing I can say. Her son stays neat and clean. They over there eating good. And she does good on her YouTube. So I really don't have um bad critique as far as that. She's not lazy like the rest of the moms, in my opinion. Okay. She has a job working as like a home health aide, almost like, I don't know if y'all know Key Plus Three. She does like uh, cleaning up, uh, cooking for her grandmother, fixes her place up, gets her meds out, and kind of helps her the elderly. That's the same type of job she has. Yeah, I don't know if it's always the elderly. It could just be a disabled person who's not able to do everything for themselves. But she goes, she did an um, actual vlog on helping one of her patients or one of her I don't know what they call clients, I guess you would call them. Went over there, cooked clean for them, got their dinner ready, ran their bath, that type of thing. So she, I, I guess that would be a home health aide. I'm not sure, guys. Um, yeah, but I think that's what she does for a living and YouTube and TikTok, like I said. And she has an Instagram as well. And I'm sure she's getting paid on all of them. Together and quick. All right. I'm about to have 
All right, you guys. So I just wanted to come and tell you guys about my date. It's been a few days. And I, I forgot as I was editing that I told you guys that I would tell you guys about the date and like how I started dating and whatnot. So first and foremost, the date went super good. Um, I just love spending time with this particular person. It just feels so easy. It don't feel forced. I feel like the energy is somewhat reciprocated. And why I say somewhat, it's like, I think I like him a little bit more than he may like me right now but the energy is still there you know what i'm okay, saying but so you gotta still- watch it out for that girl because he could just be reeling you in you know you already know what these men do once they get what they want they're probably gonna block you so you better be careful about that sis be careful still taking it slow because you just never know when you jump right into stuff so quickly you don't know where it may go so we're just taking it slow whatnot but the date was nice he came y'all heard him in in the previous part of the video he came in he he gave me a hug he was like take your time because i was finishing up my hair and whatnot and um we ended up leaving out we got in the car and he was like oh my god you smell so good he was like you always got on the, the good sense he was like what are you wearing today because the last time i had wore gucci and i told him i said i'm wearing ysl he was like oh mm, you smell so good so we got in the car, we proceeded to go. He was like, today is a beautiful day. He's like, it would have been a beautiful day to go to the beach. And I was like, oh my God, like the beach would have been perfect today. Like, why would I say, let's go to the movies? But I've been dying to go to the movies, you guys. I've been dying. I was supposed to go with another person, but they kept flaking on me. So I was like, hey, I really want to go see this movie. Would you like to go see it with me? He was like, yeah, I'm down. So that's how we ended up at the movies um, this time. But I was like, oh, my God, why didn't I let him pick where we should have went? He picked the first date, and that was beautiful. Like, it was so freaking fun. And I know that the beach would have been even more lit. So I was like, next time, I'm going to just close my mouth, and I'm not even going to suggest anything else. I'm just going to let him plan everything. <laughs> so, yeah, on the car ride, we just kind of talked and stuff. And then once we got to the theater, <laughs> y'all, <sighs> once we got to the theater, we got the car, and he happens to walk around the car to the side that I'm on. And I'm just standing there watching what he's doing because I'm like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm paying attention, but I'm not paying attention. And this man takes off his shirt. And baby, I'm telling you, I, 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 I could have lost it then. But I, could, I, I kept my composure. And he put on a different shirt because he had on like a muscle shirt. He took that off and he put on like a button up. He looked so good though. And so we proceeded to walk to the movie theater. And um, he held the doors open for me. We get to the counter and now... We're about to pay for our tickets. And I'm like, I got it. He like, he looked at me like, what? Like, no, girl, I got it. So I'm like, okay, then have it. <laughs> so But see what I'm saying? Why is she offering to pay for dates on the second date? Can y'all tell me why is she offering to pay for a date on the second date? Ain't no way. Are you married to this nigga? Is he is he your husband? Why would you be offering to pay for a date? You're a woman and he is a man. Let that man be a man. I don't understand you females that assist on paying for niggas. It is weird. And I don't know who taught y'all the game. I don't know who taught y'all the game. It's no way that I'm paying on a second date. Third, fourth, fifth, or sixth. It's not going to happen. Okay? Um, after we paid for our tickets, we went over to the concession stands and we paid for popcorn and drinks. So I'm like, can I at least pay for our snacks since you pay for our tickets? And plus you don't use your gas to come and get me, take us to the. That's what he's supposed to do. When you have a car, Tiana, I've never been on a proper date, Jay. When you have a car, you know that you have to put gas in it, right? See, this is the thing that people that don't have cars don't understand. So since I know you're on drive. I don't know if she got her license, but I know she doesn't drive because she always talking about catching Uber doing it. So you're begging someone. So so he didn't let you pay for the movies, but you begged him and you pleaded with him. Please, please allow me to pay for the food since you used your gas. Use your gas. Isn't that a part of dating? When you have a car, you can't call your friends like, yeah, I gave you the ride, a ride to work and dropped you off. Uh, I'm going to need some money for this oil change. That's not how it works. People that have cars expect to pay for gas. This is what I'm saying. This girl, she's always going to be used. And then you wonder why your mother got used up by that African that catfished her overseas. I'm surprised somebody hasn't catfished your ass because you sound real stupid begging men to pay for. That is his job to pay for it. 
you sound real silly movies and then you're gonna have to use your gas to bring me back home and then you go home so he was like okay you could pay for half so he allowed me to do that and then we um proceeded to go kid. fill up our cups with our ices so we go and do that we proceed to walk towards the movie theater and i'm losing everything because i got my bag my popcorn and my icy and so he's like you need some help i'm like yes please so he takes my popcorn so now he's holding his popcorn my popcorn and his drink so he goes to open the theater door and he literally drops his freaking drink all on my legs and shoes i'm like, I'm like oh my god he's like oh my god did it get you i'm like yeah it got my leg and a little bit of my shoe so he was like i'll just go get another one so he helps me to my seat or whatever and the seat that i was supposed to be sitting in actually had something wasted on it and so he took one of the napkins that he had and he wiped it up or whatever but it still looked like something was still there after he wiped it so he was like you don't have to that's why you keep saying looked it why do people say that word that word is annoying looked it do you say wiped it like i don't understand why are people saying that word that is annoying and it is illiterate. Sorry. Looked. That is it. Why are we adding looked it? Why are we doing that? When I say we, I just mean people. I don't mean that I'm included in these people, y'all. So let me say, why are y'all or whoever's out here doing it? Looked it makes you sound illiterate. Just so you know. That that word is annoying, y'all. I'm sorry. Sit there. You could take my seat if you would like. I said, are you sure? He was like, yeah, I'm sure. So... I sat down where he was going to sit and we sat there and we waited for the movie to start. Now there was a seat on my side and a seat on his side that was empty. And I was just praying to God, please God, please God. I hope nobody sits in these seats. So lo and behold, some, some older white lady comes sit next to him. And I'm just like, hopefully she just is cool. Now, she was cool, but she talked too much. Now, she wasn't, like, loud talking or anything like that. It was just, like, a lot of side conversation that she was making with my date. I'm like, lady, you should have came with your own date. <laughs> and it kind of bothered me because I'm like, not for nothing, we're supposed to be watching a movie. That's for one. And then the other thing was, like, he's here with me, and you're basically taking up our quality time together. And I didn't like that. And she did it throughout the whole movie, y'all. So after the movie was done or whatever... We leave. Now, that would be annoying as hell if I go to the movies with somebody and somebody else is talking their ear off. It's weird and it's annoying. And the lady was overstepping her boundaries. And I don't know. That would have that would have annoyed me as well. And we um go back to my house and we just sitting there in front of the house for a little while. We just talking and stuff. And he's like, What you doing for the rest of the day? And I'm like, What do you mean what I'm doing for the rest of the day? You had asked me, Are you free for the entire day when we set this up? So why would I have anything else planned? So I was like, nothing. I don't have anything else planned. It's just me. My son is with my mom. So I'm just be vibing, I guess. So he was like, oh, okay, whatever. I guess that was like my time to make my move. And I didn't. Like I could have had him come in and, you know, have some drinks with me. And we could have talked and whatnot. But I was trying to be considerate of his time because he said he was at work the night before. He was already tired once he had got to me. And he had to work the next night, like the, the next day. And so I wanted to be considerate of his time or whatever. And so I had let him know that once he had gotten home, he because he was like, um, he was like, I could have stayed and, and chatted with you for a little bit while longer and stuff like that. I was like, nah, it's cool. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, you was good for work or whatnot. And so he was like, well, thank you for being considerate. He's super sweet, y'all. And um, <clears throat> that was that. And I had also had texted him because I had meant to mention it to him once we had got back to my place that I didn't like <clears throat> that that lady literally was like, interrupting our date and so he was like no she was real friendly and whatnot and i was like i get that or whatever but i was like she talked to you more than i got a chance to talk to you you know what i'm saying like you know have side conversation like a little small talk and so he was like well as long as you um enjoyed yourself that's all that matters i was like well i didn't like that and so he he understood that or whatever <clears throat> but he wasn't being rude or anything when it came to like speaking back to the lady or whatnot it was just more so like he was just being friendly because of her age like she looked like she was about in her her early 50s late 40s but yeah that's basically like how the date went i still enjoy myself i just always have a good time when i'm with him um i just enjoy his company he's super just dope and friendly and educated and articulate intelligent like it's just so much i could go on like and i've only been out with him two times that's it but we've talked on the phone, we've texted before and stuff like that. So now I just want to talk to you guys about like how I started dating. So I met him actually through my sister and immediately 
when I seen him, because we were talking about something, I'm not going to go into details about what we talked about, but we were talking about something that he needed my help with. And so when I got a chance to actually meet him face to face on FaceTime, he's talking about what, what he wanted to ask me. And I'm too busy mesmerized at how gorgeous he looks. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, mm-hmm. Tell me more. In the back of my head, I'm like, I'm finna bag him. Like, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna get him. I'm finna get him. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> so um, that's how that happened. But as of like dating for real, I knew it was my time to get back out there when I started to feel like lonely. Like it, it just was getting lonely being single. I've been single for about about six years. And through that time, I was just focusing on me, focusing on my son. And just kind of bettering myself, seeing what I like, seeing what I don't like, educating myself on narcissists, educating myself on manipulators, red flags, and all of that stuff. And and so as of dating, I kind of just took some time for myself first before I just jump right back out there. Because a lot of times girls will jump right into relationships right after their last breakup. And I knew that wasn't for me. Like, yes, Liv, are y'all listening, Chrissy? Are y'all listening? That's why y'all got so many baby daddies, Chrissy. Liv. Liv's back out there again. Baby daddy number four. Okay. Are y'all listening? That part, I, I agree with her on that. You don't have to wait six years, but wait until you feel the time is right. So I actually think that was mature of her. That's good thinking, Tiana. I knew I had to do a lot of healing because I was just so traumatized by the way that my ex had treated me. So I knew that I had to soul search you know what i'm saying i had to find myself again i had to relearn the things that i liked and the things that i didn't like um the things that i was going to accept the things that i wasn't going to accept and so i did that for about five to six years and i got into this place where i was like i'm, I'm just so bored with being alone like i want some excitement you know i feel like i'm ready at this point you know what i'm saying so i talked to my homegirls about it and um they was like t you know try a dating site I'm not gonna say what dating site but they told me to try try a dating site i've never done a dating site ever in my life because I was just so scared of them because of the stories that I hear. So they talked me into it. It took them a good little while to get me convinced to do it. So eventually I did it and I started meeting people and some of them were okay. And some of them was just like, not my cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? Like they showed some red flags immediately. And I was just like, no, I know my work and I'm not putting up with that. That's kind of like how I started. And I was a little bit self-conscious of my, about myself for a very long time because of what my ex had already, you know, put in my brain. So I had to rewire my brain also build that confidence back up and be like, girl, you got it. You know what I'm saying? You got this. And that's kind of like how I started. So basically my advice to you guys is dig deep into yourself, find what you like, find what you don't like, uh, what you're going to accept, what you're not going to accept, educate yourself on the things that you're not going to accept and just kind of like be the best you that you can be and, and, and stand in that confidently. You know what I'm saying? No, I agree with her, but I do feel like this girl is showing a little hints of desperation. Begging to pay for stuff on a second date is just not where it's at, sis. Um, let him pay at least, I'm going to say at least 10 dates, okay? And to, I feel like you shouldn't be paying at all, honestly, until you guys get together. You guys are not roommates. You guys are not buddies. You're dating, all right? So let the man be a man and let him play the man's role by paying for it. I know some people will disagree, but look, you know, this is not something that I'm going to change my mind on. Saying And set the boundaries right at the gate. Do not allow these guys to just treat you any type of way. You get to teach these men how to treat you. Okay. So that's just basically what I want to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up and turn on your post notification bell so you do not miss any time that I upload. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. Bye. Okay, guys, that is it. That is all. She got 41K views on that video. So I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick reaction on that because we need some new mommies to react on. Um, I tried Nika, guys. I just can't get with it. I, I like I'll probably just do a reaction on maybe Nika's TikToks. The videos are not going to work for me. Um, but yeah. So guys, thanks for hanging in there. Please, please thumbs up on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.